This is the self-publishing news for May the 2nd, 2022. And boy, is it jack stacked and packed. So I'm going to try to keep things moving right along here. First of all, starting out with... Oh, the folks over at Lulu actually have a great article about which font should I use for my book. A lot of people get really hung up because they're like, okay, can I use this one? Should I use that one? Understanding the, these fonts, what they are and how it applies to your books and the type of content makes all the bit of difference. And here's the really cool thing. They make it super simple for you in this Pretty detailed blog post. Make sure you take a look at it. All the links, by the way, for any of the items that I mentioned today will be, of course, inside the description. Next item up in the news is from the fine folks over at Story Origin. Uh, they actually added in exclusion filters for upcoming group promos or newsletter swaps. So you can exclude uh, promos, mailing lists that contain certain tags from your search results. It feels so good when I cross something off my very long to do list that has been there for a while. So this is something Evan had been working on for a while. If you don't have access to Story Origin, find out why I rave so much about it. I actually talked about Story Origin not too long ago and I even interviewed Evan Gao, and uh, the guy is just phenomenal, just such a smart individual. But take a look at it over at dailinks.com slash story origin to get yourself access today. Moving further forward, this one comes over from one of my preferred resources in self-publishing, David Gogren. Now, David is just a fantastic guy, wealth of information. I highly recommend you don't get the opportunity to right now. Do so later. Go over to his website. Get subscribed to his email newsletter. He sends out just these emails are epic. You like you are will be blown away at the information he's giving away a hundred percent free. Uh, and one of those things is over on his YouTube channel. He actually did this about a week ago, I think it was. And it's Facebook ads for authors. It's a detailed ad creation tutorial. So if you find yourself stuck and you aren't really sure where to go or how to start this. David is very reputable. I can't speak high enough praise about him. Subscribe to him on YouTube. He doesn't post too many videos, but when he does, he makes sure that it's worth your time. Next item, of course, is going to be from the folks over at Readsy. They actually just sent out a newsletter detailing how they've got a new world building guide and template. And uh, if you're finding yourself as a fiction author needing to kind of build something out and you're kind of stuck and not sure how to do it, well, they just have it here right for you. So a little checklist that you can kind of go through. Uh, I'd go through each one of these points, but it only makes sense for you to go on over there yourself and take a look at it. All right, biggest item up in the news this week so far, rolling out from Google Play Books, auto narrated audiobooks. Now, according to them, we're creating a high quality audiobook is simple and affordable with Google Play Books. Okay, now keep in mind, you can listen to a sample, you can give it a shot. Now, you're probably saying, but wait, hang, hang on a second. Google Play Books distributes ebooks and audiobooks, but you can't distribute the audiobooks directly through your Google Play Books dashboard. You confused yet? Yeah, me too. Well, they typically will allow companies like, say, Findaway Voices, some type of a middleman that's going to make sure that the quality is going to be up to, you know, snuff, that it's going to be good. So now they're allowing like this back door into their system with auto narration. Now, I went into this with a great deal of skepticism, as I'd shared before I went into this broadcast with some of the live viewers, and that is... I don't like auto narrated audiobooks or any type of audio. I think it sounds really cringy. Now, with that being said, I said, all right, I'll go ahead and listen to the options, what they have for samples. Some of them, eh, hmm, not all about that life. But there were a couple that I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. I would say the only limitations I could see is if you would want any type of character voicing or character acting, because it's not like you can split up the narrators into various portions inside your novel. It seems like it's an all or nothing. So it almost seems better suited for something like nonfiction books. Now, here is the 
the funny thing that's in stark contrast to what I've shared, if you go into the Google Play Books website, you actually will see this auto narration. It says Bram Stoker's Dracula. Okay. Um, again, we're going to probably miss a lot of that, but um, this is just my opinion. I want you to check it out and you to go ahead and weigh in and see if this is going to be an option. They have it in various dialects and two different languages of English and Spanish. So I'm going to keep an eye on this situation. I'll let you know. I want you to do your own due diligence and hear the samples for yourself and determine, is that going to be a good fit for you? All right, here's an interesting one. This kind of flew under the radar before, but I feel like it's worth bringing up. And it's actually a service that's called Hello Books. Now, I actually found out about this through none other than the illustrious Mark Dawson. This is something I believe that he and his uh, self-publishing formula um, co-host, James Blatch, actually put together. And it's essentially to increase book sales. It almost seems like a new version of, say, uh, BookBub. And at um, any rate, they uh, sent out a newsletter here. And we are currently accepting submissions in the following categories. Thrillers, crime, mystery, romance, general fiction, fantasy, science fiction, paranormal romance, young adult, and middle grade. So um, they are really starting to just slowly roll out some of these features. I have yet to try this out, and this is not my endorsement, but I'm going to say this. I feel pretty comfortable with a name like Mark Dawson attached to it that it's probably going to be a pretty reputable service. So speaking of reputable services... I think some of you already knew about this, but I'm going to go ahead and repeat this anyway. Book Award Pro recently rolled out a free plan for authors. So if you've been cash strapped and you're not able to afford any of their premium plans, but you still want to get your book in, submitted to some book awards, then you can do so now. Um, they just they said here inside the newsletter, it's big news to share, Book Award Pro, we just launched our free plan, which provides custom award matching specific to the unique aspects of every book. So, I've already gotten uh, 23 awards, maybe it's more, I, I'm going to have to go back and check, and it's not me flexing, although it is kind of a little bit of a humble flex, but um, all that to say this, that some of that actually has brought in additional marketing uh, assets that I'm able to do. And also not to mention that it also gives additional exposure for each of, you know, the book for wherever it's submitted. So I would recommend that you at least get the free account, go over to dalelinks.com slash book award pro to get yourself set up today. Speaking of great deals out there, I want to go ahead and bring this one on up because I forgot to talk about it last week. AppSumo is rolling out the new special and it is for deposit photos. This is where you can get premium stock images. Now, this is my preferred stock image website. Actually, I usually go and I buy all of my credits through AppSumo every year. And I get stocked up so then I can use this for different promotional um, graphics. I can use it for my thumbnails. I can use it for my books. I can use it for any of those things. It's $39 for about 100 uh, credits all together that you can use on deposit photos. You want to take a look at that, go over to visit selfpublishingwithdale.com slash deposit photos. Again, that is selfpublishingwithdale.com slash deposit photos. Um, I'm going to try to get a short link on that one. Not sure why I didn't get you guys hooked up with that one. All right. Hey, coming from the headquarters over at the Kindlepreneur. Dave Chesson rolled out another piece called How to Identify a Book's Sales Problems. Follow these steps. This is something I have preached time and time and time again. Each one of these elements, um, he just goes ahead and he validates them. Unprofessional or unremarkable cover problems rather than just bloviating about this and telling you and giving you a spoiler on all the things like confusing cover issues, poor book descriptions, useless keywords, things like that. I'm gonna let you go ahead and take a look at that. By the way, reviews can make or break the success of your book, especially poor or low reviews. I always say it's good to have some reviews, but every now and then it can work against you. He talks a little bit more about that inside the post. All right, the folks over at Kobo Writing Life, did you know they have a YouTube channel? Yeah, actually, I appeared on there once before. They are great. They run a great program uh, over on YouTube. But go ahead and take a look at this other one. They talked about how to boost your back list. 
Uh, Tara is ever the great host. Uh, Joni, I've, I don't know if I've seen her on any of the broadcasts before, but Tara, I've uh, worked with her directly before. But uh, go ahead and take a look at that one. If you're trying to breathe some life back into your backlist, this is a great option for you. I know I need to go over and review that myself. Hey, by the way, find a way voices. They're still excited about marketplace. And before they used to just have marketplace, the narrator would have a profile. Now authors can have profiles, including like your picture and any type of bio relevant links, all that type of stuff. This gets it to where there's less um, friction when you're trying to approach a narrator or vice versa. And that's one of the biggest areas that I always kind of, I can complain about is when you're setting something up on ACX, you, if, unless you have something to copy and paste there for awards and accolades and all the important information about how you're going to promote it and when the launch date, all that, it becomes messy. I would almost rather have a profile so people have the need to know information where they need to and also the information that's ancillary to the whole process in a separate area. Um, so in any event, that's really cool. If you haven't checked out find away voices, what you doing with yourself, go over to findawayvoices.com slash Dale and tell them I sent you. Speaking of sending you on over towards this direction, I've promoted this, uh, service before it's called Scribando. They actually talk a lot about all the relevant news. So if you want to get ahead of the self-publishing news every week that I'm typically doing, get your hands on Scri Scribando. They give me free access so I can go ahead and promote this to you. I really do like this. If I wasn't getting free access, I'd probably just pay for it anyways. And I've even told him on a couple of occasions, but happy to go ahead and be of service. I picked up one item and I'm going to save the rest of the items next week. The biggest item that I have found from Scribando is that Overdrive is officially doing away with their app. Um, that's not to say the Overdrive service is going to be gone. It's just the app that's going to be gone in its place is Libby. So if you are an Overdrive user or if you've got some readers who are already Overdrive users, let them know that they're going to want to switch over to Libby. I believe that by the end of 2022, they're going to have it completely like gone. Like there's not going to be any support for the Overdrive app. That's the news for today. What did you think about it? What was the most important part that you thought? And did I feel, was I out of place? Was I off base, if you will, talking about the whole auto narration thing. If I am, let me know inside the comments.